quick video for all of you ham fans out there. This is a F4G 7700 uh, general purpose, general band receiver. Goes from zero hertz or, you know, zero to 29 megahertz. Um, anyway, I was given this thing, trying to repair it now. It has a sensitivity problem among other things, but the first thing to fix is the power supply, which really wasn't broken, but was broken. And I'll explain what I mean. Um, on the schematic, if you want to pull this up in the service manual, again, again, just pull up the F4G 7700 service manual. And if you look at the schematic, um, there's the 13.5 volt rail, and that's in the service manual as well as annotated on the schematic uh, as 13.5 volts. That rail is unregulated, and it's supposed to be 13.5 volts. When the unit is on, it's about 15 volts, and when it's off, that's because of sagging, of course, and when it's off, it goes to 17 volts. Quite a difference, and it's so out of spec that some of the uh, components on the main board, right here, for example, you can actually feel them getting warm, which really shouldn't be happening. So anyway, what I did is I modified the power supply board. That's the power supply board there. I spliced in my own makeshift uh, regulated supply. That So now the 13.5 volt rail is uh, regulated. And as I was getting a spread between on and off, uh, between, as I said, 15 volts and 17 volts, uh, now this is what I'm getting. Uh, let's see. That's off. And this is on. So it's about 200 millivolts, which is good enough, I think. And mainly the reason why it's not regulating perfectly is because I think of, of heat issues and it's not really an issue but the, cold, the chip is dead cold of course when it's turned off there's only a minimal draw for standby power and then I have it basically heat sink to the chassis and it does dissipate quite a, 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 a large amount of, uh, of heat so you are going to get some regulation drift with that heat so anyway, I have it dialed in, and it's about perfect when it's off, on, and when it's off, it goes to about 13.8. So that's, you know, really good enough, and I, that's really a thermal issue. Um, this particular TL regulator I'm using, I think it's a TL63 something or other. Um, I had it in the drawer. Uh, it's a surface mount. I had to a, a, a adapt it to... Um, through hole and uh, I did that rather that was rather a pain but the problem is there's no way to really mount a heat sink on it it's a it's real it's a real mess I don't know why they designed it this way but anyway i I did a makeshift I don't know if you can see that or not but basically underneath the uh, the probe right there you can see that the board basically is screwed down and on this side is where the chip is and it's married with um, thermal paste to the chassis itself and that keeps it cooler at least so anyway this this is one I want to do a quick video of this this is fixed I'm going to finish it up and then be pulling the rest of it apart and doing some signal tracing it seems to be a sensitivity issue maybe a bad transistor I don't know bad caps I've already found some bad caps on this thing I think the AGC isn't working as well so anyway um, just thought it would be a quick video. That's what this thing looks like. This is that's the this is the PLL board, um, VFO. Um, anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. These things are pretty popular on eBay, um, and I was given this thing, so I'm just trying to fix it. So I'll keep you all up to date. Bye.